welcome to Shad Life. I am up here in Cayuna again with the Polygon Cisco T8. Um, the only difference is, is I have the carbon wheels on here. And if you saw my last video, you'll see that putting these wheels on here literally shaved two pounds off this bike. So this bike was 33.5 pounds, now it's 31.5 pounds. And it shaved weight in the most important place, which is this outer rotational weight. Um, someday I'll do a video on that and explain why that matters. It's basically physics. Some people know, but I recently just had somebody ask me about what weight matters and stuff. So I'll do a video on that. But for today, I'm going to just talk about how the bike rides now that I shaved two pounds off in the most important part. Um, I mean, a little hint, I've already ridden the bike around a bit. <laughs> you can tell because the tires are red, but um, I'll uh, talk about it and the changes and the differences while I'm out on the trail. Um, but another thing I did is I put this butcher back so on the back. So it has the specialized butcher grid trail t9 tire on it which is also a lighter tire but i'm just i'm quite shocked at how good these tires grip like <laughs> they are so good just like the hans doms these are equally as good like i've said before maxis is no longer like the tire to have the, the Ma maxis minions that everybody's been raving about for the last 10 years or so yeah there's other tires out there that are better so um there you have it uh, let's get this out on the trail and see how it rides with the carbon wheels so where i noticed the biggest difference with these carbon wheels is right here when i'm climbing it makes climbing a lot easier than with the other wheels And with this bike, you want to do the climbing because it gets you to the fun parts. Whew. Yep, this is the climb on backcountry in Cayuna. Pretty grueling. These wheels make a world of difference. These uh, specialized butcher tires are amazing. Wow. Look at that. Woo. A little bit of brake needed there, but that's it. got a pretty slack head angle believe it or not i actually measured the head angle and it said 64 degrees so it seems slacker than what they say it is wow no these wheels make a world of difference it makes this bike more punchy i love it like absolutely changes the way this bike feels it actually feels pretty light and agile now no oh, roly poly this fun bike on this trail, not gonna lie. 
Okay, so I just got back from Cayuna last night. Um, wanted to get this up there, ride some of my favorite trails with these carbon wheels and just really get a feel for this bike. But before I talk about that, I wanna talk about uh, this suspension pivot bolt coming loose. So I tracked on Strava to see how many miles, because every ride I've done on this bike, I've tracked it. And so this bike has a total of 64 miles on it. And I noticed it started creaking when I was riding in Cayuna and realized this main bolt here was pretty loose. Like when I went in there with the wrench, I could easily turn it. And so I tightened it. Um, didn't have a torque wrench, so I gave it a, just a good tightening, um, and the creaking went away. So, um, just an FYI, if you have one of these and it's relatively new, you want to make sure you're checking your suspension bolts, because this one, I don't know if it wasn't torqued right at the factory. They shouldn't just come loose like that with that few miles, but sometimes they do. And regardless of what bike you have, especially full suspension, if you start hearing creaking noises and stuff and you just decide you're just going to ignore it and keep riding your bike, because trust me, I'm out on the trail all the time and I hear people with full suspension bikes and they're making nasty creaky sounds and they just keep riding them. Um, you actually want to have all your pivot bolts checked. Um, and if your bike's relatively new, the shop you got your bike from. Um, unfortunately, this is where direct-to-consumer changes things, right? You don't have a shop that you bought the bike from when you do direct-to-consumer, so you don't have that support system. So you're gonna have to pay to have somebody go check that stuff out if you don't know how to do it yourself. So keep that in mind when you buy direct-to-consumer there. It's sure you get great savings, but you also lose that service because if you buy a brand new bike, and within a short amount of time, stuff starts to do that. You can take the bike in and the shop will fix it for free because they will back the product they sold you for a certain amount of time after you bought the bike. So keep that in mind when you're buying direct to consumer. Um, I'm at an advantage because I basically have a shop in my basement, right? And I know what I'm doing, but a lot of people don't. And I actually don't know a ton about suspension. I know enough to be dangerous <laughs> but the reason why my rustler is going into the shop to have all the bearings replaced is because I don't have the skill set and experience to do that I might I would rather have the pros do it so all right let's talk about how this bike rides now so this is my final video talking about this bike as far as how it rides I'm gonna ride it for a little while till my rustler gets back once I get my rustler back I'm going to sell this back in its stock form, not with the carbon wheels. <laughs> um, but I'm only going to sell it locally. I'm not going to ship it or anything like that. I just don't want to deal with that. I don't have the box anymore or anything like that. But I'm going to sell it locally. Don't know how much yet, but we'll see. So anyway, the carbon wheels are a total game changer as far as like how this bike rides. So if you've watched my video mainly on Monarch and I was talking about how the bike felt heavy. I mentioned it probably a few times and things like that, that had some girth and weight behind it. Um, with the carbon wheels, it actually made the bike feel a lot more like my Rustler. 
um, a lot more agile, quicker. It was way easier to climb with, like ridiculously easier to climb with. Why would it be so much easier to climb with? Well, because the weight savings is at the outer most rotational part. And if you know physics, that's the most important place to save weight. So carbon rim, aluminum nipples, lighter tire. I mean, literally sh shaved a pound off of each wheel. And that makes a huge difference as, as far as like how easy the bike will move forward per, per every pedal stroke. So if you have heavy wheels, when you put your pedal stroke down, a lot of your energy and power is going into making those wheels rotate. But you have lighter wheels, more of that power and energy is going into propelling the bike forward. Um, definitely uh, look some stuff up about that, but that outer rotational weight on your wheels is the most effective place to shave weight. So there you have it, um, 31.5 pounds with those carbon wheels. And again, I mentioned that in the video where I put the wheels on, that's roughly about a $1,200 upgrade, so not cheap. <laughs> Um, depending on the brand and model carbon wheels you get, but you know, these I went with bladed spokes, aluminum nipples, uh, DT Swiss 350 hubs, stuff like that. Um, there is a nicer DT Swiss hub, I forget, is it 240 or something? I know it's one of those. And then um, you can get different engagement levels with the hub. This is the medium engagement hub. Um, I forget how many clicks that is, but it's better than a stock hub but not the super high engagement hub so it feels pretty good um, so on and so forth um, so not a cheap upgrade but so worth it like two pounds in rotational mass <laughs> is a massive upgrade and makes a bike feel completely different and you won't know like there's a lot of people out there that ride and they're like well i just you know if you ride one bike and you're used to it you're not you're obviously not going to worry too much about the weight but when you ride different bikes or you get on somebody else's bike that's light and you do a couple hard cranks with it you'll notice a difference and then it'll kind of open your eyes a little bit to how much weight matters and i think right now there's a trend of like in the bike industry to say oh weight doesn't matter weight doesn't matter and i don't agree weight does matter it's always mattered as long as i've been riding bikes weight has mattered um so yeah i don't know if it's because they want to sell stuff at less money and they don't want to put as much effort into making bikes light or what that what the deal is or they want to convince you i don't know why they're saying that but it's not true weight actually does matter it makes a big difference in how your bike rides sweet i appreciate your support for my channel please like and subscribe coffee sip peace